Let's talk about using HTML tags and other special characters like the copyright symbol in your content. Say you want to write out some code in your HTML document and display it for your users. For example, I have the word HTML written in tags over here, but it actually doesn't display in the browser because it's reading it as an HTML tag. To get around this issue, you'll use what's called a character entity. Character entities are short bits of code that your browser can easily read and convert into a special character for you. They're also helpful for including characters that aren't easily available on your keyboard, like the copyright symbol. Character entities start with an ampersand and end in a semicolon. There are so many special characters out there, there's no way you'd be able to remember all of the character entities. There are a couple of resources linked below the video that you may find helpful to bookmark so that you're always able to quickly find a character entity when you need it. In the book, they talk about the W3Schools page of commonly used entities. This page just has a table listed with a bunch of entities, um, and you can use it for some entities that you use commonly, like the copyright or register symbol. Uh, the left column shows the character. And then the next two columns have entities that you can use. You can use the number entity or the written entity. Um, I would suggest using the written just so you kind of have an idea of what that character entity is when you're reading your HTML. So I'm going to copy that entity, replace that in my document, and when I refresh the browser, the copyright symbol shows instead of ampersand copy semicolon. Another cool resource is this and what page. It allows you to search for any entity based on keywords or actually typing in the entity. So if I type in copy, the copyright symbol shows up and you can copy that entity. If I want to type some HTML, I'll type that bracket. Oops. And it gives me that less than sign. I can paste that in there. And then also type in the right bracket. Copy that and replace that in here. Save my document. And you'll see that it now says using HTML tags instead of just nothing. One other thing to note about character entities is that because they all start with the ampersand, that also makes the ampersand a special character. So if you need to type in an ampersand and want it to display on your page, you'll type in ampersand, amp, and semicolon. If you forget the character entity for ampersand, you can always look for it here too. And that's about all there is to know about special characters and character entities, but if you have any questions, feel free to post in the discussion board or email your instructor.